Hi folks, welcome to Bear Mountain. This week we're catching up on uh, something we probably should have got done a few weeks ago. It's now uh, the last week of June and I think we're about a month behind on getting our bedding plants in uh, some of our, our places here. This is the Vigo, Vego, V-E-G-O, uh, raised bed planter. This is the, uh, the model that's about 30 inches tall and it's, uh, it, it's what they call an, an either a nine in one or a 10 in one. In other words, you can have all kinds of different configurations on how you want to put it together. Uh, we had spring bulbs in here. We had daffodils and some uh, other types of early spring muscaris and things like that, but mostly daffodils in here. And when they all died out near the end of May, um, that's when we probably should have got in here and planted it. But um, this bed was also put together kind of on a hugo culture manner. I don't know if you recall it. We did a video on it, but we filled the, the vast majority of the bottom of this thing with um, uh, wood trimmings that were maybe two to three inch or less in diameter and then packed our soil on, and compost around it. So what we did to get ready for putting our bedding plants is, is we didn't do any digging or anything. We didn't take the bulbs out or anything. We're simply going to plant over them, which you can do. I know a lot of people are, are concerned that, you know, you dig into the bulb or something of that nature. And since we're putting in um, plugs, we're not going to actually need to get, dig that deep. So what we did is we put about an inch uh, to a little more than an inch, about an inch, inch to inch and a half of compost over the top. And then we wetted it down really good to get ready to plant. Now these uh, plants over here, these are just some of the basic bedding plants. You could probably buy these at a nursery if you wanted to, but we started all these guys from seed ourselves. Uh, the petunias were started way back, I think, in almost February. But they were really slow. And they were very slow to germinate. It took uh, 20 days or so for them to germinate. And then they stayed very small for a long period of time. And then they began to grow. Uh, and so they were actually ready for putting into pots uh, probably around, right around the beginning to mid-May in that time frame. Which we have some on the back deck that we can show you. Yeah, we got some that have been planted at the right time, and they actually look really good. Uh, then we have uh, a variety of miniature-sized uh, zinnias. A lot Small of them, bedding they're, size. they're bedding size. They're they're not um, the elegans series, you know, where you get the very tall like the banaries and things like that. These guys have a different kind of growth pattern to them. They tend to be more bushy or they may even trail a little bit depending on the variety of it. But uh, they don't tend to get much more than, what, 12 inch, 18 maybe 18 tops. And then we have some French marigold uh, style uh, there. Blonde. And, and that one is kind of fill out. Plus we also have uh, some extra um, verbenas in the back of our wagon. We got some extra uh, there that we're gonna put in. So we're gonna put in kind of a broad variety of things. Um, this is also our own soil. Yes. Nothing is purchased except Ye for the seed. Well, except for the vermiculite. <laughs> yeah, but I mean the seed. But the seed, yeah. The seed we... Um, Everything we, is, we didn't go to a nursery and buy anything. No. We, bought, we made our own potting soil. Um, those stakes we've had for years, so we just kind of tend to reuse things. And uh, the the actual uh, plug trays itself are the ones we used to use, the six packs we used to use in uh, when our, we were doing flower farming. And so and they've got a long life ahead of them too. So it's not much in terms of getting the actual bed ready. Like I said, we were just putting compost in and then we're just gonna be uh, taking these guys and kind of laying them out and uh, to try to fill the bed. From a fertilization standpoint, um, I kind of fell behind a bit on fertilizing the petunias. So there's a couple of weeks I didn't do it, so they're looking a little bit on the lime green side instead of a nice deep, uh, deep green side. But uh, once we get them into here, plus then we'll give them another shot of fertilizer and they'll green up pretty fast and, and just start taking. it's not commercial fertilizer. No, this is our own Jadam liquid fertilizer. Um, We've been using that actually um, on the starts in the greenhouse. So you can see like the marigolds look pretty good. And uh, the zinnias were started, I guess we don't have a date on it. Oh yeah, 3rd of June, uh, right around in there. So these guys are about um, three weeks, they're about maybe a little longer than three weeks old. 
and the marigolds were started uh we started those around the 10th of may so but they some of them are already out planted yeah we put some in the garden just kind of help uh, protect things like uh around uh things like uh the melons and the and the tomatoes and things of that nature just to kind of give it also give it a little bit of color out there too so that's the basics of it now, i did want to make a note on something uh, on the design on the taller um, uh, planter and i don't know if anyone else is running into this but when we built it there were uh, metal support cross supports that would attach to inside bolts from one side to the other to kind of keep the the sides of the uh, actual container bulging out and they only gave us uh, two of them but in reality with something this high you probably would actually need four because if you look at you know, down the side you can see that even with those cross uh, supports we're getting a bit of bulging uh, from as the material in the planter begins to settle it's pushing out uh, to the side so uh, if you can't get extra metal supports, I think if I was to redo this differently, I might put a, um, a frame inside of it to just kind of um, maybe give it a little more support, you know, to keep it from pushing out. Um, well, we still like this planter a lot. Yeah, it's, it's still good. I mean, I mean, the paint job is, is holding up really well. I mean, nothing's really bothering it from that standpoint. I don't think it's going to have any corrosion because it was really well coated. But... Uh, that's the only drawback I've seen, and, and I think, you know, if you had the, the smaller height size, you know, one, one round of supports is probably fine. But this definitely, if, yeah, if I was to make a suggestion to the folks at the company, it would be a, for taller models, give extra support braces. Because uh, it's still, even with this, it's still got a bit of a poof to it. But we'll see how it goes. I, it's not gotten any worse. It's just kind of... It's kind of stabilized to where it's at. Just got a bit of a bow to it. And, and the hoops? Uh, yeah, the hoops, people may notice that, that we have these little uh, black uh, poly hoops in here. And this is so that um, if we find that we have deer snacking uh, um, or animal damage, we can quickly just put a little net over the top. And that we did the same thing for our oak barrel there too, uh, because we do have marauding deer and that's probably we're also training our kitties not to use it as a potty well they're getting better if they see plants in it they're usually leaving them alone now so maybe that has something to do with age and maturity they don't want to work that hard i don't know <laughs> that, that was part of the training you train a cat yeah that's a good one well fine <laughs> Okay, so we're going to lay these out and, and then uh, we'll show you kind of what the uh, finished product looks like. All right, so we got the, uh, the container garden planted here. And one of the things that uh, you'll notice from the picture is, is everything is in nice, straight, orderly lines. Uh, that comes from my, my own background of being German and everything must be in order. I uh, probably should have done a better job of trying to mix things up. Denise tried to get me to mix things up, but I just, I just, I got to keep things in line. <laughs> Anywho, it'll still look pretty good. We got, we got a variety of different zinnias types in here with different colors on that. The petunias kind of in the center have a, um, uh, we got a, like a rose pink and a deep, um, um, what they call a tritunia type, which have, means it's got like a striations in its color a little bit. And then we also have a, a white with a yellow center. So this ought to look pretty good. And then along the outside, we'll have the small French marigolds that will kind of, you know, grow up and kind of over a little bit. So this should look really nice and full in about another, oh, probably a couple, three weeks, probably by pretty much near the end of July, this thing should really look good and be looking good all the way into fall. We here in the uh, maritime uh, part of the Northwestern Oregon, we, we typically have really good weather all the way into almost the end of October. So uh, chances are, you know, we're not gonna get a freeze or anything. So these things should just look glorious. You just jinxed it. I just changed it? Jinxed. Jinxed it? Oh, damn, it's gonna freeze on this 5th of September. <laughs> <laughs> it has done that. Well, not the 5th, but it the has 20th. frozen. Yeah, I think it was near the end of September. We got a freak frost that, that uh, knocked our dahlias out one year. That was bizarre. Never happened again. Just very strange year. 
Um, so that's it. Uh, we just got a few more pots around the rest of the place. We still have lots of extra petunias, so we get those guys stuffed into places. We'll probably put a lot out in the garden and then around some of the other things like dahlias and things that we have in our boxes out there. The thing that we really kind of want to show you this is, is with the expensive of bedding plants anymore, that you can get these things and raise them yourselves. Um, don't follow our plan because we kind of fell down on the last part of it. But if you start them, you know, back in, you know, the February time frame on some of these longer things like, like petunias or lisianthus or things of that nature, you can get them in, into your garden for yourself. And actually, you know, if you were to pay for these things for, from a home center anymore, you'll probably find that the cost for a six pack of things could be anywhere from six to eight dollars. And sometimes that might even be a knockdown price. So things have just really gotten a lot more expensive. And you can buy petunia seed for uh, fairly large quantities. W wasn't it, uh, what? At minimum, I was getting 100 pellet seeds, but some were 250 and some were 500. Yeah. And um, petunias are incredibly tiny incredibly tiny. yeah you want to get them pelleted so you want to get them pelleted if you want to be able to uh, same thing with lisianthus seed yeah i mean <laughs> lots of the really dinky stuff needs to you know if you're getting um older and you need your eyesight is not as good having pelleted seeds you know really makes a difference like lettuces and other things so the um only thing that um was not pelleted was the marigolds and that's a pretty good size seed too yeah isn't it, it is yeah. i can see that one really easy but the verbena i believe was pelleted and all the petunias were the zinnias pelleted oh no no oh, they were okay too that's yeah because they're a pretty enough. good size seed too yeah yeah um so i i i highly recommend pelleting if you know you can do that. The other thing though is pelleted seeds don't last as long as just regular seed. You want to use them within the year. So the downside on 500 petunias pelleted is wow you really gotta like that color. <laughs> so it might be a little uh, crazy on that idea. Well if you're doing a lot of things yeah you know um, boy buying those six packs could really put a dent in your budget. Oh yeah I mean I used to several years ago buy what's called a ready for your pot and it was twelve dollars for probably exactly what we're doing right now. And like a tray of 70 five years ago tray of 72 or so something like no, that. no it was six packs oh. it was like three or four six packs of three different things hmm. at twelve dollars you know i have pots everywhere i couldn't afford to do that and so the timing is the part that's really tricky to get the petunias and other things verbena other uh, bedding plants to come on at the right time but not that they come in so early that it, the weather hasn't worked. May was really wet. So, right? Um, up till the 5th, April oh. was very wet. Oh, okay. May, May we started drying out. Okay. As a matter I, of fact, I, we haven't had any real every, rain. Every year is Yeah, so last different. year we last were, in, year we were so incredibly wet. wet. You know, so you have to take a leap of faith on getting um, your seeds started and hope that they don't exceed um, the plugs that you have them in. And we kind of let these go a little too long, but this is also for me an incredibly bad allergy season. So. Yeah. So I think, you know, again, we got them in good compost and we'll fertilize them, keep them wet, you know, you know adequate moisture. This temperatures are really good right now. These guys, they'll, they'll snap out of it in a couple of weeks and really green up and start growing uh, tremendously. I, I have no doubt about that. Um, yeah, I just need to, this is an experiment on um, what we planted because quite a few of these things we've never had before. The verbena and all the zinnias we put in here are new to us. So I want to see color and size and shape and texture. 
you know and so it's an experiment and i'll be picking what i like and saying oh no i don't like that one so much well i think as people do you know their their landscaping around their house you know a lot of people start their own veg and stuff like that and and i think it's just something natural to maybe start start to you know get in the habit of starting your own bedding plants too right so anyway uh try to keep this a little shorter than other videos so i want to thank you guys for watching today and uh, as always stay safe out there we'll catch you on the next video bye 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 bye